everyone welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to share with you a very easy way to make your doors look sophisticated now behind me I have these French doors that are leading into my Carolina room and so while I promised you guys last week that I would show you a living room transformation it still has a little bit more to go before I'm able to release the full reveal so this week I want to share with you how to take a door an ordinary door whether you have a closet door, a bedroom door, a bathroom door, or even French doors like this, and make them look upscale with just a very small budget. And we're gonna do that today, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is because you can do it. You can make your house look extremely expensive with just some imagination and a few products. So the first thing you wanna do when you are prepping your doors for any type of paint work, um, is to use a very good degreaser. I'm not sponsored, but I highly believe in this product. A lot of people who um, flip furniture or just restore furniture in general, just really highly recommend this. It really does a good job at pulling out all of the oils, the, the grease that's behind um, any film, any residue from your surface. So that is the first step. Now, in my last video of the transformation for the Carolina room, you can see behind me, I painted the um, window frames black the door frames black and I use this product which I didn't show on camera but I use this product now guys okay it helps to read <laughs> because I didn't read I just assumed you know this is a product you paint it on it dries and you peel it off well I had a heck of a time removing it because it does strongly suggest that you put on a very thick layer of this product and I did not I was very, I use it very sparingly and I was left with taking a razor blade and scraping for two to three days the residue off of all of those glass panels. That was not fun. So while I do believe that this is a really good product, you need to apply a thick coat of this. Um, I'm not gonna mess with that today. I am going to just be very careful with my paint. Um, and you know what, guys, the old fashioned way is if you get paint on the glass, let it dry and then just take a razor blade to it. It's going to be a lot less than what I scraped off using this product. So um, so there's that. You can use this if you want or just paint the good old fashioned way. So let me go ahead and mix the paint and we'll get started. Okay, everyone, it is the next day. The doors are now dry and I cleaned them with vinegar so that we get all of the debris off from there. The next thing I wanted to show you that is part of this door transformation is this decorative trim. Again, I'm not sponsored. So I am sharing this tip with you guys because so many of you can save so much money um, instead of replacing a door that's maybe just not aesthetically pleasing with just some paint and just some molding trim, you can completely transform a door. And that is exactly what we're going to do. So I have one out of the bag I'm gonna show you. And of course, when you buy this, make sure that you just check the width. Um, they come in different widths. Um, and this is the one that I selected. The width doesn't say, but this is a 25 foot roll and it's going to probably do one and a half door. So I do have two rolls with me. Um, this is the sticker part. You're going to remove the sticker in the back and you are going to create your grid pattern here. Now have your grid pattern already picked out on how you want to design it before you just start going for it. It will take a little bit of leveling um, and making sure that everything is even side to side um, and door to door. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure my trim and we're gonna go ahead and get started.
got one done. Next side to go. And something that I want to note, um, if you're going to do any doors or windows is to lightly sand them for the best paint adhesion. Now I took a shortcut and I did not sand my doors, but I highly suggest that you lightly sand your doors so that um, you will get the best paint results and longevity because that's how your paint's gonna really grip on there. You can totally prime as well. I just skip all those steps because down the road we plan on replacing these doors. So for now, this is a super quick fix that I thought of sharing with you guys if you have windows that you are looking to transform or even if you have these French doors here. Um, I wanna show you how easy it is, how this turned out. It looks so stunning. It looks so sophisticated, guys. And my entryway to the front door is right in front of me here. So the focal point leads right to these beautiful doors with these lines. And so I couldn't be more excited about this little mini transformation with some paint and some molding from Amazon, which by the way, it will be linked in my description box. You can completely transform your bedroom doors, living room doors, your French doors, patio doors, the sky's the limit. And if you're wondering why I didn't show the doors from the opposite side is because right in front of me is my dining room, which is a whole new transformation that is about to um, nearly be done. We are still in the process of transforming this room. So I was not able to go in there and flip the camera around. Now, if you are wondering if this is black on the other side, it is not. So what I will do is take more of this molding and go on the inside and just follow the same line. Super easy peasy. Um, the white side does not bother me. Um, but if it did bother you, you can easily just repeat the same pattern on the other side and it'll go 10 times faster because you already have your grid pattern already set out for you. So, all right, without further ado, let me show you how beautiful this inexpensive upscale transformation um, turned out with these doors. Mm -hmm. 